Hello besties, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're well. In today's video, I am so excited to be teaching you how to create your manuscript document if you are starting a new book and how to also export that manuscript document so you can get other people to read it and maybe for you to read yourself when you are going through your draft one, draft two and get it into a position where you can actually export it so you can actually upload to publish your book eventually. And I really am so excited to share with you Campfire who is sponsoring this video so thank you so much Campfire for allowing me to show my beautiful writers the best way to create their manuscripts. So let's get into it. If you guys don't know Campfire, you definitely should. It's an amazing, amazing website which caters to all of your writer needs. And I honestly think it's just better to show you guys. So I'll have this on the screen so you guys can actually see my Campfire tour. Campfire is the best tool so far that I've come across that allows me to keep so organized and inspired whenever I work on my projects. I'll just show you guys exactly what I mean. So as you can see, here I have this beautiful um, dashboard which is for Project CZ and if you guys don't know Project CZ is kind of a high fantasy novel that I've been working on for quite a while and as you can see it's just beautiful as it is but if you guys want a more in-depth um, tour I'll definitely recommend this video that I did and I also teach you guys how to world build within that video so I really encourage you guys to check that out however we're focusing on manuscripts so as I go over here to my dashboard and go down to manuscript I'm gonna be clicking on my manuscript page. Da 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 da, and here it is. So this is um, Project CZ, which is also called The Lost City of Zeal. And as you can see, I have my actual document within Campfire. This is honestly so, so great, because of course, as a writer, it's so important to keep everything close together. So I have my world building, I have my character building. You can see the dashboard on the left side. But of course, I also have my manuscript document, which is very, very helpful. And if you guys want to actually import your own manuscript document, um, all you got to do is click this plus button, go up to a file and import your Word document via there so that you can have your manuscript document imported into Campfire. Something that's really great about the Campfire Manuscript tool is that it saves on the cloud so it's always going to be here and you're never going to lose your project. It has all the tools that you need up here including fonts and paragraphing and you can also export this as a Word document as well. And one thing that I really love about writing documents especially within Campfire is the right side of this interface. As you can see here it has a navigator content where I can jump around to different things but also most importantly, there's a notepad section, which is so important. Sometimes I get distracted if I make too many comments and I just need somewhere to kind of just write down my ideas or maybe some plot fixes or just some questions that I need. And here is the perfect place to do it. In terms of how I actually structure my manuscript document in terms with paragraphing, naming chapters, dialogue and everything like that, I'm going to teach you guys just a few little tips that will definitely help you guys. So the first thing is actually content. So of course, as I said, you can jump around your document, which really, really helps, especially with chapters. So if I just go over here and highlight chapter one, I can go ahead and click paragraph up here and make it a header. So I'm actually going to click probably header four to make it a bit smaller. And there we go. We have chapter one. And as you can see here, it has now made it as subcategory of my manuscript document. Chapter one, I can click here and it goes straight down to chapter one. This is gonna help you a lot when you are going through editing and also just keeps things so much more organized. And that's why I love this particular feature in Campfire. Another thing is if you go up here to view mode, you can actually make it view only. So you can actually read your project without having like any squiggly lines or anything distracting you. So if I click here on view only, let's go back on editing. And the last thing I wanna show you guys is actually also up here, and that is manage themes. Here's actually so cool. So if I scroll down to fantasy and then click confirm, look, look how cool that looks. You can see the different fonts. Look how pretty it looks. Ugh and even the fonts change. And it's just like such an easy way to kind of make everything look consistent and honestly cool. And it actually gives me so much inspiration. Maybe we can go on dark, which could seem really, really cool. Ta-da! This is actually so fun because you can go on to night mode or dark mode when you are writing at night so it's not as 
in your eyes if you know what I mean. That's why I honestly love Camp Fire so so much because you can personalize so many things and it just helps you romanticize the writing process which is actually so so cool. Okay the second thing and I feel like the most important thing is to actually compile your manuscript. So in this particular book I wanted to actually send this first chapter so that's why I have this first chapter in my manuscript page to some of my writing friends to see if they like the first chapter. So I'm gonna do that with you guys. So over here is compile manuscript we're just gonna click that and this is where all your books details go and I'm gonna put in my author name Anna New. I actually don't have a book cover yet but I'm gonna just pick one of these random photos maybe this one this one seems ah uh, no let's look let's let's click this one this one seems cool and if we go down here my books description and as we continue this is all like metadata stuff and actually like ISBNs publisher information I like your face if you want to publish your book so of course as I said I'm just going to be exporting this in a sort of format that allows my friends and my writing buddies to actually read from however of course campfire actually provides a way to put all this information within your book because you know how a book has that sort of front in a cover that has all this information this does it automatically for you something that's really important also is down here which is trigger warnings so of course if you have any trigger warnings definitely click this off. I think this is also really important for beta readers as well when you are getting your manuscript ready for other people. I'm going to click some. It has some violence. Now that we have done that we can look over here to style and settings. This is probably my favorite bit because you get to actually pick how your book will look like. You get to pick your trim size, your margin size, and everything like that. Like small caps at the start of chapters, for example, or paragraphs with spacing. You can pick whatever you want to characterize your story in a way that suits you and the way you want your book to be formatted. If you wanna check what your book looks like, you can look over here to preview. And over here on the left side, you can see how your book will look like. And over here, you can kind of see this as a sort of in inward cover that is really important when you are exporting your book. It looks so cool, copyright by 2023, and I knew. And the last thing you need to do before you export is go over here to body. So this is basically what consists of the story. We're gonna click this little button here and say add chapter. And I'm gonna be clicking my manuscript page, which is actually my document that I'm gonna be using. And then we can preview it again and see what it looks like. Here we go, it looks amazing. Ah, oh, I feel like everything's coming together and it just makes me feel so cool. So let's go ahead and export it and open it as a PDF. And something that's really good is that here it has actual page numbers. Oh my God, look at it. I always get so excited whenever I do this because it looks like I've actually written a book and it's right here and it's like in its little, oh, it's so exciting. It has its page numbers and everything like that. So yeah, that's basically how I structure my document and also export it so it's actually publishable, which is so exciting. And of course, this was all possible by Campfire. So thank you so much, Campfire, for allowing me to show my writers how to do this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it was actually helpful to you. Please, please go check out Campfire below because it will not only help me so much, but of course, you. Again, Campfire is just an amazing amazing tool for writers and I feel like everyone especially if you write fantasy like especially it's just so helpful because the perks are amazing and of course you can literally publish a book and upload it and I feel like that's honestly so so cool as a writer anyways guys I love you guys so so much and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I make a lot of writing videos and I hope you're enjoying the content so far anyways guys I love you and I hope to see you in my next one bye